My name is Owara Tet, the founder of Road Safety and Safe Driving Practices. A few days ago, I released a video that showed someone being hijacked. On that post, I stated, when driving at night, be careful. This type of high intensity lights are used by these gangs to quickly rob you. So my advice was never open doors, run away quickly and escape. And then I said, send this message to every group. Most people on the comments gave a, a very worrying trend of comments. Everybody was asking why run away? Why not to reverse? Now, let me enlighten you. Kajakas are not just your ordinary people. To be specific on this video that I released, I bring a new item that they have. It is a high intensity light. Most of us have gone to school, but when it comes to lighting, we don't know much. A high intensity light is used as a weapon. When you meet oncoming traffic, you see people trying to flash lights because it causes a lot of glare. So I will bring in the aspect of a high intensity light. What does it do? One, it temporarily blinds you. It temporarily paralyzes your sight. The reason as to why they blind you with this light is that you be able to stop, you be able not to see things that are around you. When the car that is being hijacked up approaches, he gets to be blinded and slows down, hoping and believing that this is just a normal police check. Let me tell you, these were not ordinary carjackers. These are learned people and they know how to execute this kajaking. Any person who is going to kajak you, one, they have an intelligence about you that you do not know. If you observe this video, the time is 0137 a.m. in the middle of the night. Towards the eighth second of this video, after the first two glares and then the vehicle comes to a stop, a lot of you is, are asking, why did he run over them? From the sixth to eighth or tenth seconds in this video, look behind the person with the glaring light. He or she is standing and behind him or she, there are logs, there are logs. If you count well, those are more, more than six electrical poles. So it means, it clearly means they took their time to bring in the logs. I saw somebody saying those are rubble bumps. Uh, rubble bumps, no. Those are electrical poles, six of them. So the reason why I ask people to reverse. Remember, he has blinded you with the glare light twice. The eye is like a camera. When light hits the eye, it focuses. So the reason why they blink it is to hit you, dismantle the eye focus. As you try to regain the focus again, they do it again. That is why they keep on blinking it at you. The reason they blink is to paralyze or temporarily make you blind. At this time, the eye sees glare and it's sharp and it's painful so when they do it for the first time they do it for the second time you realize that you cannot see because it's too sharp it's too painful it's too bright you have to stop the driver of this car stops and uh, i believe he's a defensive driver he gets to analyze the situation important so when you're traveling at night number one make sure your doors are locked 
Number two, make sure your windows are three quarter rolled up. If you don't have AC, if you don't need it, roll up your windows close to full close. The reason why we reverse, we reverse to see the reaction of the car jackers. We reverse to see their reaction. When in this case, when this guy decides to reverse, you realize that the carjackers get agitated and they unleash their level one of weapons, which happen to be crude weapons. The reason we reverse number two is to relax and heal from the sharp intensity blinding light. The guy with the blinding light is uh, very much clever and he believes the more he blinks it as you look at it, the more he blinds you. And that is why the moment when the car is being reversed, you see he tries, he throws the first object and then tries to blink it more. So you relax as you reverse from the attack. Remember, the far you move away from the danger, the safer you become. In case you make a personal choice that you want to run over them. Remember, they stopped you. You are at a stop. And uh, you, 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 you need acceleration. You need to accelerate to gain speed to get impact to hit someone. So from the moment they stopped you, there's no way you can run over them. There is no way. It is in the dark and a lot is, uh, a lot is hidden. So you don't know if you are going to attack if they have a second level of weapon. The first artillery they showed were crude weapons. Uh, panga, rungus, logs. You don't know what you are coming into in the second attack. So the distance you give and keep away from the danger, the safer you are. If you look well in this video, behind the logs they have a car meaning if if you are going to run of them but they let me tell you all carjackers know very well that there is a possibility to run them over and that is why they always blind you so that you do not see what lies ahead what is re hidden ahead reverse is the best and only option why it keeps you away from danger. When you reverse, you are, you are going into a terrain that you are familiar with. Remember, you came in. At least you have an idea of what you left behind. So if it is to reverse, most kajakas know very well that 90% of vehicle drivers struggle to reverse. And this is not when you are going to do the ordinary reverse that Woro Ted keeps telling you, look at your mirrors as you reverse. No. You have been given glare by the carjackers. You have stopped. Remember, doors all locked, windows up. I have told you the only option you have is reverse. When I say you throw your arm over the passenger seat, throw it, make sure you get hold be, uh, below the headrest, hold it with a good grip, make sure your bicep leans here. You are belted, remember, and then give a look back shoulder. You have already engaged reverse at that moment, and when you decide to go, don't look at the front. The guy keeps on blinking the high intensity. High intensity travels through very far distances. When you look back, step on your gas and control it. Make sure you have the good view of the rear windshield. I say again, throw your arm over the passenger seat at the back, below the headrest, give it a good grip. Make sure your bicep, you can see I've had in mine, and it is a hard grip. And then give it a good shoulder look. 
step on the accelerator and please don't look at the front reverse as fast as you go most of you tend to think that uh, reverse has no torque it is the strongest gear ever in that car be it a manual transmission be it a automatic transmission don't use your side mirrors at that time or even your rear mirror make sure you have a good view the reverse lights will be on reverse as fast as you can and as strong as you can i wish you all the best be safe these are not uh, situations that everyone will go into but if it finds you my advice would be reverse 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 and stay away from the danger road safety are measures put into place to help reduce possible deaths possible injuries damage to the environment and property road safety is a message of love and only those who have true love will share it with you